everyone, this is Dr. Mommy Budgets coming to you again with a quick video. Um, as you can see in front of me, I have my budget projection for week four of April. Um, basically, everything in this budget projection did take place. I was able to, you know, pay, all, pay the bills, all the electric bill, the gas bill, all that was paid. And then remember, I had an overage, so I was able to put that money away in the bill savings account. So everything on this sheet did take place. So the budget recap looks very good on this. This is a 100% followed um, budget projection. So I think what I am going to start doing is try to grade my um, budget projections. But like I said, for the most part, um, th this is my... <laughs> day-to-day -day, month to month bills so a lot of these are going to go the majority of these are going to get paid so that's what we got going on so we're going to flip over on to this next page and we're going to work with the budget recap for week four these are necessarily some items these are some items that didn't necessarily get planned for in my budget projection but as long as we're able to satisfy them without taking out a loan, like I always say, or putting it on a credit card, which I don't have. I haven't used one in about eight years. I do not own one. Then you're doing good. Okay, so let's run through these real quick. I went to the grocery store on Thursday and, and picked up $124 worth of groceries, which was mainly meat. I wanted to go on and stock up my um, freezer because I hear that these uh, meat companies are closing and and or, or not closing but are not working as efficiently as they used to whatever the case may be so i did that that money came out of my grocery uh category i had my daughter to put gas in my vehicle yesterday to the tune of 35 dollars. that money came out of the gas category and i'm saying that these are not necessarily projected items because they were done out of the norm Normally, I'll go and get gas, you know, every Friday if I was working, but I haven't gotten gas in whew, probably about three or four weeks. But anyway, also, my daughter wanted this wig. I don't know anything about this, but one of my relatives is going to make this for her. It's $75 that came out of my miscellaneous account. Um while we we had to go out to a vaccine appointment for her because she is a senior and for college they need certain vaccines so i stopped by burger king got everybody lunch which was 1284 that came out of the bills checking account remember i normally leave a cushion amount of about 26 dollars in that account every single week so there's money always in that account the Walmart order, I ordered some elastic because as some of you know, I do make masks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even receive this elastic, but it was $24.30. That came also out of the bills checking account where I have the cushion money set aside. Lastly, I got some graduation 2020 yard signs for my senior high school daughter that's graduating from Amazon. They were $22.46. And that money came out of my miscellaneous account. So there you have it. That is my week four budget recap. These are some items that I did spend that were not necessarily planned for in the budget. But I was able to fund all of these items with cash. Therefore, everything is a success. And once again, I'm going to give myself a... 100 because I was able to satisfy all of these without, you know, taking from another category or wondering where it was going to come from and that sort of thing. So that's all I have for this budget recap video. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets. I would love it if you would leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also subscribe to my channel. Um, this is all I have once again, and uh, this is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you in the next video. Peace.